Is it a drought in here because our code is dry? Yeah, just kidding, that's a terrible joke. So this week we just released a brand new alpha feature that allows you to publish reusable actions from Node.js code steps without leaving the builder. It's really neat, very useful, and it only requires teeny, teeny, tiny, small modifications to your existing code steps to turn them into reusable actions. So let's dive right into it. From our last speedrun video a couple weeks ago, I made this concept of posting from Notion to our statically generated blog using this workflow. One particular action I'd like to reuse in other areas is this idea of taking a Notion page and converting it into Markdown. And this step right here is a little bit of code that I'd rather not rewrite. So without needing to copy this code, we can just go right into here and we can give it the same properties you would on a component. There are four properties you need to define on any Node.js code step to make it eligible to publish into an action. We need to add a name, a version, the type needs to be action, and we also need a unique key. So in this case, I'll call it Pierce Notion Block to Markdown. That's exactly what it's going to do. And then we'll make a version of 0.0.1, and we'll give it a, a user-friendly name, uh, block to markdown. And I also need to clean up the, the props a little bit. It's taking references to steps. When we convert this into a action, the steps variable will no longer be available because it can be used in any workflow in your account. So the steps will be different across the workflows. So instead, let's replace the, so I'm gonna add a new prop that's going to convert the page into Markdown. What we need to do is accept a page ID. That's what this method down here in line 25 does. It accepts a page ID and it returns that page in blocks and converts it into a string in the line beneath that. So I'm going to make a new prop that just says, you know, uh, page ID. It's a type of a string and the label should be notion page ID. Description will be the notion page to convert to markdown. Now we could use async options for this. That is a more advanced topic, but I just want to show you the idea of creating an action first. So now we can replace this page to markdown with the page ID prop we just created. It will retrieve that page from notion and then it will convert it to a markdown string. There's a special title thing I added, but we don't need that. We can just instead return the whole block. So we'll just export MD string from the step by returning it. Awesome. So now we'll just refresh the fields, which will refresh the component to add the page ID. And now we should be able to publish to my actions on the right-hand side menu. It's all you do is publish to my actions. And you can see at the very top here, it saved a new version of the action to my account. And we can see this under the dashboard now in this new components area. You open up the component and you can see right here, block to markdown was created under my account. And it's currently under version 0.0.1. Now what's really cool about this is we can make a new workflow. It doesn't, depend, doesn't matter where. You can use a pre-existing workflow or a new workflow. And now under your actions, you can reuse this. And if you wanna make an update to the, the action, all you need to do is open up this menu and edit the action code. This will allow you to publish a new version of the, of the action without having to actually find the original code step. You can publish from anywhere and then you can manually update in the rest of the action implementations across your workflows. So I'm just gonna run the test thing here and show you how the publish to my actions appears, even though there is an error. Now we can publish version two, and then you can opt into the version two update and other implementations across your workflows. It won't happen automatically, just in case you make a pretty big change. Now to enable this feature at their time of recording, this is an alpha feature. So you head on over to pipedream.com slash alpha, gets you the available alpha features that you can opt into. To enable this feature, do the click on enable step publishing and enable components page to see that nice overview of the new components page. Give us your feedback on our public Slack or on discourse. 
or on Twitter. Like I said, very excited about this particular feature. I think it's gonna really help you build workflows even faster with reusable actions that are built for you and your team. No CLI needed, no switching to your local editor. You do it right in the browser. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Dry code drought, like that's just so stupid. I can't believe I said that.